Ik ga eten nu. Nee, nu. No. So happy. Hiya, you joined me in my living room. I know this is a snow tour video and I'm in the new house in the living room purely because I didn't get this snow tour video up straight away um, because of, I'm not gonna get into details, but personal reasons, I've been through some personal drama the last couple of days. Everything's okay now, uh, but I, I wasn't able to focus on the vlog. So I figured the best way to take you back to my last two days on snow tour was to narrate it for you and show you clips. It all kicked off in Storgefell, which is a place in North, uh, I'm not too sure where in Norway actually, to be honest, but it's this place in Norway where we were at an ice track and it was total chaos. Yo, this is a shot of adrenaline! <laughs> I know, right? Hey, nothing to see here. GT3s must not be easy to drive on track because one's out there and the other one's out here. <laughs> I then hopped into the BMW E30 M3 with my co-driver Talal. Uh, we did the entire rally together, or rally drive together, and I just want to give a quick shout out to Talal because despite teasing each other throughout the whole trip, he was the most amazing co-driver I could ever wish for and is like an older brother to me. And this was us for the first time together on the ice track in the M3. Join us back at the ice track, second day. I'm with Talal, who you guys haven't seen too much, but you guys know he's my co-driver and we are driving in a full-blown snowstorm on this ice track very sideways very sideways very sideways oh my god that was i was literally looking out of my side window i have no control to now i have faith in you do you no Enjoying drifting this car? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's so, so much gradual. Fun. So much fun. And being on this track, there are people crashing left, right, and center, or crashing, going off the track temporarily before coming on again. But it's so entertaining. I mean, right now we got a GT3 RS in front of us. We're in an E30 M3. I mean, an E30 M3 driving on an ice track. What is life? This is just. This is sick real. We've got the first corner coming up, the hardest one ever. You'll be able to tell by our reaction if it goes well or not. You ready? Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Flick it out. Somehow, I then ended up being handed the keys to a red Audi R8 V10 Plus. And a friend of Tommy, who uh, who's become a very good friend of mine called Tony. Tommy is someone we've seen on Galag and, uh, and Gumball and everything with us. Uh, he hopped in with me and we took the R8 out, which was really interesting because of the four-wheel drive. Anyways, here it is. Let's give this thing a go. Four-wheel drive, very different feel to the other cars that we've been out sliding in. Oh, it's pretty violent. So much more power than in the BMW. Oh, yes. This thing is epic! You need to be sliding or else you yeah. understeer. You can't be too confident in this. We'll bite you in the ass. Very sideways. Very sideways. The cool thing is, guys, you have enough power to be able to flick the back end out. But as soon as the front end grips on, then it becomes tricky. You need to just... Steer it with the throttle. Whoa. Now we're getting speed. Speed is the answer to any problem. We then, somehow, were handed the keys to what's called a Polaris. So three wheels, huge studded tires, and just absolute madness. And we almost just struggled to take it in. Having driven the M3 and the R8, this could not be more different, not be more freezing, and not be more violent. Out here, sub the lady in the Polaris. Here we go. This thing is epic. This thing is epic. Bro, this 
This was insane. <laughs> Hell. Well, that's that then. I then drove the Polaris back in, uh, hung out for a little bit, and I met someone who had driven six hours just to come over and say hi. So I grabbed him, very nice here friend who was also on the trip, actually let me have a go in his GT3 RS, and so this guy had driven six hours, I was like, hop in the car with me, and let's take this thing out, and it was absolutely marvelous. You're about to watch me falling in love with the GT3 RS. Here we go. GT3, ah, oh, man, this is so cool. Engine in the back. Ah, oh, this thing is so communicative. It feels amazing. up uh, having a bit of lunch someone ordered a bunch of pizzas and again as snow tour is it was total madness so one of the guys is about to jump a ramp on a snowboard <laughs> oh! so guys you can try this at home all you need is a lake a snowboard a Polaris and a rope and then it's, you're all good right <laughs> what's the problem Casper you need more speed okay that sounds responsible Oi! Pizza! Yes! How happy are you right now? Oh, so happy. <laughs> Whilst I eat my pizza, this is going on. Whoa! Following that, Sultan, uh, who owns the Batmobile, asked me to try and get the Batmobile as sideways as I could on the racetrack. And Warner, a friend of mine uh, who was on the rally, a uh, friend of everyone's who I actually met on the rally, lovely, lovely guy, hopped in the passenger seat with me and we decided to see what it was like to drift a Batmobile on a nice track. So here's that. I'm with Warner in the car and we are taking the bat out for a bit of slip reaction. Woo! Here we go! Let's do this. How do you? Yes! <laughs> We're drifting a Batmobile! Oh my god! Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> and there's only the windscreen wiper in the middle. Oh my god. Oy, very sideways. Wow, you are going really fast <laughs> right now. I know, right? <laughs> I feel like, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Where's the oh shit handle? This thing is so hard to slide though, because it's so big and so back heavy. Mm. But yes. the steering is, oh, <laughs> it's pretty dead. I'm not gonna lie to you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Like the thing that we're on an ice lake in Norway, drifting a Batmobile. What is life? This is insane. As we've been saying, do you even content, bro? <laughs> You're doing like 100k back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going quite fast. The only problem is visibility. I can't see where I'm going, which is a slight problem on an ice lake <laughs> when you're sideways. <laughs> yes! All the way! Oh, ho, ho. oh, that was magical. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! This is the greatest. 
greatest thing I've ever done. <laughs> so what do you think? What's your favorite car so far? My favorite car is the one I just drove, the GT3 RS. Okay. Before this. And the BMW, the M3, is so controllable and just sort of honest feeling. I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> like, just pretty surreal. <laughs> what about you? If you had to drift any car here, which one would you take out? I think that that GT3 RS yeah. that thing looks just so mint. But I'm too scared to do it, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm like... I, I got into the car, he was like, you crash it, you buy it. I was like, oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'll really slowly. Then what happened became interesting. You'll see why. I was tasked with driving the Batmobile home in a snowstorm. Now then, I've done a few crazy things in cars, and I've been fortunate enough to have some mental experiences, but, ooh, I'm getting a text. Sorry, my bad. But... I was then granted the access to the Batmobile to drive it home, and let's just say things got interesting. There's a snowstorm in a Batmobile, casual. Turns out I'm driving this back to the hotel, so uh, yeah. yeah. So driving the Batmobile home, and I don't know if you can tell, but I cannot see anything. I have to lean in the middle to see through this little middle window, which is fogging up. The car is huge, visibility is horrendous, and we got stuck briefly, so yeah. Not the easiest drive in the world, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> Pretty tricky. So this is how I am, I'm having to drive because I can't see anything or I can kind of wipe like this with my hand. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty intense. I really, everything's white, so it all blends in together, but oh. And as soon as I look out the window, I get snow in my eye. This is, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, well, well, <laughs> this is really, really random and really not very safe but it's all for good fun let's do this oh and we're drifting not a problem then we're back to the hotel slept woke up the next day and the last day was uh, pretty uneventful it was pretty it was lovely 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 and i wasn't filming too much because it was the last day i was making the most of it with people but effectively all i did that day was found a nice hot dog warm my hands up on a porsche and gave some people high fives Norway, without a doubt, has the best petrol stations I have ever, well, I mean, this is Shell, but, I mean, they, li they have hot dogs, hamburgers, and they are so good in every single petrol station. This is how we're warming our hands up on the steam from the, from the GT3. How are you? Thank you. How are you doing? How are you? Good, man. Nice. That was probably in the top 10 worst high fives I've ever given in my life, <laughs> but I appreciate the support. Oslo, we're here. I'm gonna take this opportunity now, seeing as uh, we've now arrived in Oslo, and I've actually come back from the trip to say that snow tour was unbelievable. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope you were able to come along on the experience. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make you feel like you were there with us. And Sultan, who did most of the organizing for the trip, thank you so, so, so much. This trip would never have become a reality without you. Thanks to my co-driver, thanks to everyone else who's involved in the trip. It was fantastic. Um, sorry this video has been a bit late and I hope you enjoyed the narration of it and you understood what it meant I mean driving all those different cars contrasting them all on track and being able to drift and, and sort of work on my drift skills a bit more was so 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 much fun So thank you for watching as per usual. I'm back in Monaco I'm going to London soon. Hopefully to Miami. I'm going to Spain There's a lot of fun stuff coming up a lot of videos heading your way. Thanks for the eternal support and I'll see you soon Please remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Cheers Bye -bye. You're getting way too big for your boots You're never too big for the boot I got the big size toes on my feet Your face ain't big for my boots Kick up the you Man know that I kick up the you Them boy there try to suck the truth